My name is Christine Disming and I am a middle school teacher in Kansas City, Missouri. I was going to talk about why teaching authentic history and the truth is important. It's because too often it's left out of our textbooks, out of our curriculums. When I was growing up, I loved history. I loved learning about it. But to be honest, I didn't learn about everything that was happening, not just here in the United States or my local community, but also throughout the world. It makes students much more better well-rounded citizens and global citizens, not just in our local neighborhoods. Because when we teach about the truth, even though a lot of times people think that somehow that it's ugly to teach about, that's controversial, it doesn't need to be whatsoever. We're teaching the truth. Sometimes it can be happy moments that we're teaching, but we're teaching these authentic points in our history. As a teacher, I find it very frustrating when people are trying to ban certain perspectives, certain parts of our history or narratives that we should teach. When our narratives or things that we discuss in the classroom are more diverse, and how we speak and who we represent, the more voices that we introduce, the more students that we can engage. Because when you leave out a voice, when you leave out people's history or their cultural background, that's someone that's being left out of their classroom, someone's voice or narrative that's being left out. It seems also frustrating that through ever since even before I started education, before I started in kindergarten, we can go back decades, we can go back all the way to the time of John Dewey, that our education has been structured to tell a very specific narrative that does not tell all sides of the story and leaves its structured, it's, it's created in a way that tells only a very positive and happy sense and things that are kind of controversial or just glossed over. And we should not be doing that because if we keep on doing that, there's gonna be a day that we have to reckon with it. Or if we feel like we don't need to teach this now, we need to silence it, we are kicking that can down the road. We're basically saying that it's not our problem, that future generations are gonna to have to deal with it, and they are. And that's why we need to bring diverse perspectives and we need to teach the truth of what has happened and it was what is happening. Because not just teaching about the United States and only the United States, but also teach about cultures around the world, but not from a us and them perspective, but from a we perspective in a way that is both positive, engaging, but also truth telling. So that is why we need to tell the truth about our history.